Good Friday morning, church family. We're glad you're with us today. Pastor, have you had a good week? Had a good week, but uh, mercy, it's been hot this week. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, thankful for this cold front that comes through and it's still 90 degrees, but it's been hot. It's been intense. That's exactly right. Let's talk about the week ahead. 9 a.m. is our connect group. That's for all ages, uh, from preschool through adults, college, military. Mm-hmm. We have something for everyone in the family. Uh, if you've not been connected, and, and speaking of connected, we have our Connect Sunday coming up August the 11th. Yeah. Yeah, we want to encourage you a couple of ways with that. One, if you're not connected to a connect group, we really encourage you to get connected. Yeah. Because life happens in those groups. You study God's word, but you build relationships. So we'd love to see you get connected. You can contact us or you can come on on that Sunday morning, August the 11th, to the steeple entrance. And there'll be people there to help you find a class. But also, if you've been connected, but just kind of got disconnected for a while. Uh, we'd love to see you get reconnected That's to your right. class again. So there's a lot of things right there, but but we believe small groups are connect groups. They matter. We have wonderful teachers, and we'd love to see you get connected. As John Mark said, we have something for all ages right. at First Baptist Church. So we'll talk about this Connect Sunday a lot coming up because that also is when uh, our school age kids they promote they up. promote up to the next grade level. So when you uh, and I was growing up, it's called Promotion Sunday. That's exactly back in those right. Days. That's exactly yeah. right. We look so forward to that. Promotion Sunday. Sunday, Connect Sunday, whatever you want to call it, we want you connected here at First Baptist. So that Connect Hour is at 9 a.m. every Sunday morning. Immediately following that is our 10.30 a.m. worship service, uh, and we're starting a new series. A new series, just two weeks only, but it's through the small book and the the letter in the New Testament, Philemon. Mm. And I hope you'll just read that multiple times. It won't take you but just maybe a minute or two to read that. But this week we're going to be talking about a passion for souls. Mm. Are we serious about reaching people with the gospel? I, I, I know there are people in your family, there are people in your neighborhood, there are people you're going to meet in our community somewhere where you live around the world, and they do not have a relationship to Christ. And we can be passionate about a lot of things, but I pray we'll have a passion for souls that we can share the gospel, see them come to Christ, and their yeah. lives change. So I hope you'll be with us in person this week. Uh, summer is busy, I know. School's getting ready to start. People are cramming things in. But your church matters, and we hope you'll be Amen. here for connect, for connect groups, but also for the worship gathering on Sunday morning. Those who worship with us online, you'll see an amazing service, music, and then message talking about I'm casual as we finish up the Breaking Free series. And so I hope you'll watch that. I hope you'll share that as well from the, the church in Antioch in Acts chapter 11. So we can't wait for connect groups this week, and we can't wait for the worship service this week too. By the way, as we come to worship, yeah, we're, one of the parts of our worship is serving and is making a difference in our community. And we're still taking supplies for backpacks for our community. That's right. We have two locations set up in the concourse. So this Sunday, all the way up through the 28th, you can bring supplies. There's a supply list online, uh, or there's a, su- a supply list at that table as well. So we need those supplies. The more supplies we have, uh, the better we can fill those backpacks out. We've identified a group of folks that need those uh, for the coming school year. Uh, so when we get the, all of that in on the 28th, uh, our kids department will pack mm, those backpacks. They'll pray over those backpacks, and then uh, our missions team uh, will go out and deliver those yeah. backpacks. I think you're going to deliver those on, on Saturday, August 3rd, kind of a block party, and they're going to give those away and so we want you to be a part of that ministry as we think about ministry here we have amazing things for preschoolers and kids but also students our student ministry has been extremely busy over the over the summer many of them are coming back today from student leadership university 201 in washington dc they've had an incredible week there and so thank you for praying for them and then a few of them are getting ready to get off a plane today (laughs) they're going to sleep tonight and then they're going to get back on a plane tomorrow and they're going to leon mexico and they're going to be serving a vacation Bible school with probably 800 kids or maybe more all next week. So I encourage you to pray for Cole and our leaders and our students who are going to be in Leon, Mexico, sharing the gospel, building relationships, and the Lord's going to use them. So we appreciate our student ministry. And then we think about legacy. Uh, legacy VBS. We have VBS for kids. Uh, we've had some people serving out at Trinity Baptist Church this week in Vacation Bible School as well. But we're doing Legacy VBS. And John Mark, do you know the age of that? I, I'm fr- afraid to say. I don't know. It's <laughs> well, at least 50 and above. There's, there's a so, few. Yeah. There's a few ideas out there. <laughs> Let's right. just say yeah. I might 
potentially qualify. Okay, okay. I know I qualify. <laughs> but, but anyway, Legacy BBS, August 5th through the 7th, 9 in the morning to 11.30 in the morning. And, and we have a special guest who's coming back to teach the Bible study, but also I think they can sign up online as well. They can. That information is available online, fbct.org slash Legacy VBS. That was popular last it year. Was. It's popular this year. As we always say, we have something for everyone. That's right. For yeah. Fans. So Pat Van Dyke's coming back and going to be leading Amen. our Bible study those few days. I know you guys love Pat. He loves you all. And it's going to be good to see him back here for a few days as well. So something as we talk about as the summer continues to wind down, it's not far. Back to school is getting ready to happen. But we're getting ready to have a back to school bash. We're praying for no rain. Uh, we've been rained out uh, uh, several times, oh, actually, yeah, the last bunch. several times. But uh, we ha do have it scheduled for outdoors. That's August 7th, uh, 5 p.m. through 7 p.m. We're going to do it in our Grace parking lot. Uh, there'll be inflatables for the kids. Uh, there'll be uh, hamburgers, hamburgers, hot dogs. dogs. Yeah, yeah, we'll have something for everyone. Cornhole, maybe. We're going to fire yeah. up some cornhole, corn but we're, we prayerfully are going to have that outside. If not, we'll do whatever we need to do. Yeah. But, I, heard, uh, I heard this week in our staff meeting just the inflatable. Really, they're age specific as well. Yeah. There are going to be some that's reserved for preschoolers and then others for kids and some for students, some water ones as well. Yeah. So there's a variety to that. Well, you don't want to miss that back to school bash. That's a fun time every year, whether it's indoors or outdoors, but prayerfully it'll be outdoors this yeah. year. Yeah, so we hope you'll connect with us on those activities and events coming up. And as Sunday comes, church, I want to encourage you on this Friday. We have a group in our church that we just could not serve without them, and that's our deacons. Mm. Uh, we have a large membership, so we have a lot of people. There are a lot of needs, and we want to make sure we we worship God and love people, share Jesus, and make disciples. And our deacons are partners with us in ministry. And I just encourage you to pray for them on Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock, in our facility is our monthly deacons meetings that really worship services. We sing, share the word. Uh, we're accountable and share ministry reports. But I encourage you to thank our deacons, but pray for them as they meet on Sunday because I appreciate and we appreciate their partnership in ministry because they're great encouragers, but they're also great servants. This is Friday. It is. We're going to worship. Uh, it's time to turn Gratitude. our hearts and minds now to Jesus. Uh, I'm thankful for the cross, Pastor. We too. talk about that yeah, a lot. I'm thankful too. for his grace. Uh, neither one of us would be here without no. that. So let's, let's turn our hearts and minds now to Jesus with gratitude and sing the song, Gratitude. Mm. And prayerfully, we will see all of you on Sunday. Is all that 